the other day when I was on this <laughs> at Shore Lodge, uh, this little girl, she was three years old, she comes up to me, I'm in the saltwater pool with Everett, and we're having fun, and this little girl, she's so cute, I can picture her right now, she's wearing that little unicorn swimsuit one piece, and she comes up to me, she's all, excuse me, why is your skin brown, why are you brown? And I was delighted by this question. I was so delighted by this question. I looked at her and I said, this is the best question. Nobody has ever asked me this question before. But here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you there's a creator that is bigger than all of us that created you, that created me, that created the earth, that created all the creepy crawlies, the birds and the fish in the sea. And he created me. He chose me. He chose for me to be this color in this time. And she was just like, so you're like a mermaid? <laughs> And I was just like, oh my gosh, of my heart, my heart. And so it's those moments, it's those connections that like I live for, I live for the connection. And so after that experience with that woman, another download came from the divine. It is that I need to talk to these girls. I need to talk to these little kids. I need to tell them that we were all created for purpose, that we were all handcrafted and that yeah, we're all one, we're all connected. We, there is no separation and they need to hear this now while they are three years old. They need to know if they want to conclude that with I'm a mermaid, that's fine. But I want to plant that seed in their minds that they're unique and they're an expression of God, of the divine. And I want them to know it. I want them to know it like they know it, like they know it. And that's what that little girl showed me. And so I want to get on that speaking circuit of speaking to these kids at this age where they need to hear it. And I want to tell and share my story, my story of wanting to hide, of wanting to fit in that box of not wanting to live because I look so different. I was so different. And coming out of that on the other side, knowing that I am perfectly crafted and made hand chosen is what was my saving grace. And so if I can give that to our children, it's just what I need to do.